everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jasmine and today we're gonna be talking about how to manifest anything that you want anything that you want while we do this everyday makeup look um, if you're interested in seeing how I got here to this finished product then keep on watching make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's just get into today's chit chat all right so we are going to be just doing like my simple everyday makeup. The two main products I'll be using are the Born This Way Concealer and the Bronze Bomb by Merit. Um, and then we're gonna like do something to our hair real quick. I'm really not doing anything today other than going to the coffee shop and getting myself, you know, changing my scenery and getting some work done elsewhere. Truthfully, I am such a, a coffee shop kind of girl. Like, I love my crib. I really like to curate my space in a way that like makes me feel like I can be like my most productive self and um, but every now and then no matter how much you love your space you still want to um, you know sometimes you just need a change of scenery. I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I just like to put this on my face anytime I put anything before I put any type of makeup on. Just like a little bit of a you know like a just like a little bit of a like a base honestly the power of manifestation is so real even down to like manifesting a freaking parking spot at the grocery store there is so much power in the tongue and i think that um and i think that we tend to forget that what we say goes before we really get into like how to manifest and what that even looks like physically as in the act of manifesting we have to talk about how to get yourself in that time space reality mentally emotionally it's important to understand that you can't just say things and manifest them and think that they're going to come to fruition you absolutely have to be in the realm in the vortex of the things that you're asking for your energy has to be aligned your perspective on your life your energy on the inside has to match the things that you're asking for. If you're vibrating really low and you feel like shit every day and you just are have this woe is me mentality, and I know all about the woe is me mentality. No matter what your circumstance or your situation looks like, you have to let go and release that woe is me mentality because realistically, it's just simply not going to get you. It's not going to get you the things that you want and it's also not going to change the circumstance that you're in this is the bronze bomb by Merit Beauty but honestly that's step number one you are so much bigger than the sum of everything that you think is happening to you and that's the mindset number one nothing is happening to you everything is absolutely whether you believe it or not happening for you whether you might think whatever the situation that's happening is negative or you, you consider it a positive. You have to get yourself in a mindset to know that the universe is always working in your favor and never will the universe or God or whatever it is you believe in, the door in your hallway, is not working against you. Everything that you have is for a reason. Everything you don't have is for a reason. So no matter if you're in a position or in the financial situation or hell, even if you can't pay your rent tomorrow, you things are working for your favor and it's hard it, I know it's so much harder said I know it's so much easier said than done when you're struggling or whatever it is you're going through life you're going through a breakup or you're having a hard time in a new transition in your life you have to understand that if you maintain a positive attitude the universe will immediately give that back to you no matter what you're going through regardless of what happens in your life you have the power to change your narrative you are the creator of your story you have all the power in the world to determine how your life is gonna go and nobody else has that power but you and once you gain back control of that power then at that point you're untouchable unstoppable and there's nothing anybody can really do to you that can change your situation or block your blessings or eliminate your opportunities it's just not possible because you're the controller of your life not the things not the outside things that are happening to you i think it's so i think that a lot of people would rather be realists and rather be pessimists and rather look at what reality is in that moment but we forget that we're powerful beings and we can literally change our reality just by thinking 
of it in a different way. I know that shit sounds crazy. It really does. But as humans, we are so powerful. When they say there's power in the tongue, they mean that shit. It's not a joke. Be careful about how you speak on your life. If you're unhappy with things, the way things are going right now or whatever the case or how a situation panned out or you're upset you didn't get that job, refrain from saying things like, oh, I never get the job or oh, life, life effing sucks. Like, stop saying, oh, I'm so broke. Like, no, you're not. Like, although there is 50 cent in your account today, right now, in this current time space reality, you don't have, you're not broke. Like, the more you say that you're broke, you're gonna continue to be broke. You're gonna continue to, your life will continue to suck. You're gonna continue to keep not getting those jobs because that's what you're saying out loud. So if I'm honest, the main way to really put yourself in that vortex and level up your vibrations to be able to manifest anything you want is to change your perspective. I did a whole video on how to become rich, right? And it wasn't about rich, and it wasn't about being rich financially. It was about being rich in life and love and light and health and wealth and all these other things that could make you have a rich life. And that all starts with gratitude. Everything is in our mind. We have the power, which is why I take meditation so seriously because meditation allows you to gain control of your emotions, of your thoughts, of your mood, of, of your breathing, of your breath. There's a lot of power in breath work. And when we die, we're left with the last thing we have on this earth is our breath. When we have anxiety. How do we get through something that we're dealing with? Um, we feel it in our G it is a physical feeling and when you do breath work or when you meditate you're able to isolate that feeling and breathe into it breathe light into it breathe positivity into it and just like you can physically meditate yourself into healing you can physically breathe yourself through life and light into your life and your situation no matter what it actually looks like on paper in this current moment i decided i am going to go in with the perfection complexion stick this is in the color suede and i usually just kind of like to put it here also i need to blend that out i usually just like to kind of like put it here that's really where my color tends to like be funny and then they have they have this blending brush that comes with the perfection complexion stick and we're just gonna you know work that in so most importantly it's about raising your vibrations and getting yourself into a position in a mindset that allows all of these good things to happen to you and to come into your life you can't just decide today oh i'm gonna start meditating and manifesting my life i mean you can you can say today's the day that i'm gonna start manifesting things into my life but if your vibrations and your energy are not aligned and aren't vibrating at a much higher frequency than your negative thoughts are you're not going to manifest anything. Then you're going to think the whole process of manifesting and meditating is a waste of time because you're not properly doing it. You're not opening up your subconscious to be able to receive the things that you desire and are putting out there into the universe. I love Merit, Merit's makeup because it's just seamless and it kind of just like melts right into the skin. And it really doesn't look too much like, oh, I have all, I like, I like it when it doesn't feel like I have all this makeup on. Um, I just kind of like to bronze up, conceal a little bit, and go about my business. I am going to take Island Ting Bronzer by Fenty and just kind of like, just kind of like go over the main spots that I like to bronze. The beauty of simple makeup is you can use a lot of the same products for, um, for different things on your face. So I'm going to go back in with the bronze balm and kind of touch up my nose here a little bit and i really don't do much just kind of putting it on my nose here and then dragging it up towards my eyebrows and then letting it and then just blending it out from there honestly i don't like i really don't contour my nose like i just i mean this is essentially contouring it but like not for real like i'm no professional and i always my thing is like i just like to find easy makeup and things that are just like a quick little one too like i am no professional i am no makeup artist i just kind of want to look a little bit more put together sometimes and so when i do i this is pretty much the everyday makeup that i'll go to that i'll go to i'm gonna use the flush balm cheek color in what is this in mood this is also by merit as well and i have this little elf blush brush and i'm just gonna this here Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm also gonna go back in under my eyes with more concealer. And I kinda like to just take it and like fan it over my nose here. 
kind of like a cheeky rosy kind of vibe I'm not just going to tell you guys something and then not give you some tools to help raise your vibrations and get you in that mental space um, to just be better overall. A couple of things that helped me when I first started my journey in meditating and just changing my mind, like changing my mindset, and putting myself in a space where I could receive the things that I wanted um, was first I started meditating. In 2020 was when I first started really taking meditation seriously. And the meditations that really got me going and getting like my foot into the door of this new world of meditation and understanding the universe and the power that we have um was Deepak Chopra I did this 21 day challenge with my sisters and like some of their friends and and it was such a nice way to like be introduced into meditation I really like his style of meditations because He'll start the meditations out with, um, I'm just going in with a little bit more concealer to kind of go over my blush a little bit. And my eyes are a little bit cakey under, so I just wanted to hit that one more time. I'm gonna set my eyes with some Morphe setting powder after that. But the thing about Deepak and his meditations are that they allow, they allow you to be put in a space to not have to think about what to do. And I really appreciate that. I, I really appreciated that as a beginning meditator, as a, as a beginner in this meditation space, because I didn't, when I first started, I didn't know what I was doing, what I was supposed to be doing. How was I supposed to be breathing? Am I supposed to be thinking of anything? And I think that was important to me when it came to like the meditations that I did and that I, you know, started with. I think that's, I really believe it's because of Deepak Chopra's meditations that I, that I ended up liking the process so much and being open to finding out all the other ways that you can meditate. There is no just one way to meditate. There are so many different realms and so many different things you, and different ways that you can meditate. Um, and there's, there's just no one way. And, and it's really cool to be on that journey to figure out like what type of meditations work for you. Um, but for me, I can only speak from my experiences. And for me, doing the Deepak Chopra meditations were life changing for me. And I haven't looked back since beginning those meditations in 2020. But um, I think it's like a meditation that... Um, is in collaboration with Oprah Winfrey and they are guided meditations and you you um, you meditate on a I think it's called like a hymn or you meditate on a there's like a day there's like a thought that you think about and it's the one thing that you focus on and so he has so many that you can fo you're focusing on different things every single day um, but it's such a good way if you're looking to start that journey I, I highly 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 recommend using Deepak Chopra as as your starting point it's such a good it's such a good guided meditation program it's a 21 day challenge and I think they even have it on YouTube if they do I will link it below just so that y'all have access to it if I do find it if I don't um there is an app the Deepak Chopra like meditation app that you can um that you can follow along to for those meditations Anyways, another helpful tool and something that really helped me when it came to raising my vibrations, it was like a switch in my mind on um, perspective and how to go through every, my everyday was a book by, um, hold on, the book is called Vibrate Higher Daily. An old friend of mine introduced me to this book and when I tell y'all that this book really just was the pinnacle of my mindset shift and how to go about my everyday and just different ways on how to keep your vibrations high um i i mean please if y'all have not read this book hold on because this i mean i want to give you guys and i'll also put this in my description box oh layla delia la la layla delia anyways this is what the book looks like um I highly recommend reading this book it's called vibrate higher daily and not only does it talk about her journey and how she goes about vibrating higher daily it is an overall tip and guide to keeping your vibrations in on a frequency 
that will allow you to just live every single day a little bit better a little bit brighter a little bit happier and how to control those vibrations it's about what you eat it's about your environment you see that pile of dirty clothes right there that you keep ignoring you don't realize it but it's playing on your subconscious and and um, it's cluttering your mind and you don't even realize it and you wonder that and you wonder why when you clean it up real quick you automatically feel lighter you feel freer it's just it's such a good book to introduce somebody who is not familiar with vibrations and frequencies and controlling the energy that is within you to add a little bit of depth on my eyelids I'm gonna go back in with the bronzer this is an island ting once again and I'm just going to kind of I'm just going to kind of like put a little bit in my crease that way it doesn't look so muted with the concealer I recommend starting somewhere whether it's meditation whether you work on your vibrations and your perspective and your mindset putting yourself in a space where your mindset is allowing the things that you want to come to you easily is step number one you can't meditate and manifest anything until your energy is in alignment with the things that you desire after that after that meditation manifesting all that all manifesting is going to be the easiest thing and you're going to be able to manifest things so quickly you're going to start freaking yourself out with how easily you're able to manifest all the things that you want before we do some setting spray i am going i usually don't do too much to my eyebrows i don't draw them i don't fill them in really if i'm honest and i just be so lazy when it comes to my eyebrows i just kind of let them do what they do <laughs> um typically i go in with the anastasia brow freeze but y'all this thing is like completely empty there's like literally nothing left um so hack a little dupe if you guys have any edge booster personally edge booster is a crazy ass dupe for Anastasia brow freeze if you do not have the coin in your wallet to get the brow freeze get you some edge booster a little small one and dedicate it just to your eyebrows and literally it gives the lamination effect just as easily don't put um, my only recommendation is to not put too much because after a few like after a while later on in the day it will kind of make your eyebrows flake a little bit um and so what I'll do is brush them completely flat like this. I see the difference. And then I will take the brush and I'll just kind of like direct the hairs a little bit. But not all the way because you still want that like lamination effect. But you want some lamination control. So you kind of want it to be bushy in a sense. And then I'll take the other end of the what's this brush and I will flatten it like so like that I like really square thick bushy eyebrows um and so like when the girly started laminating their shit oh I was all for it nothing is going to move for you until you get your mental right first you can't expect things to come your way when you are still stuck in a state that doesn't allow you to be open to the endless possibilities that the universe has for you you have to understand that you are abundance in human form and that there are an infinite amount of ways that the things that you want can make it to you if money is what you need in your life don't be so small-minded to think that your nine to five job is the only way that money can come to you open your mind to the endless possibilities because the possibilities are literally that endless and, but they're not going to be endless for you unless you think of it in that way. The easiest way to manifest what you want in this life is to believe that whatever it is that you want is already yours. Because I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. setting spray and set my face. Alright, we are set. Y'all, so stay tuned because Thursday's video is going to be a full lip video, affordable lip combos because it's time for me to level up from the gloss like i'm ready to start having cute little lip combos like the girlies but we're gonna start with affordable lip combos so if that's something you're interested in keep your bell notification on for 
my next video because that is what we'll be doing and just trying out some lip combos some affordable lip combos so i'm really excited because i'm ready to just like have lippy all the time like i want to be that girl who's like i love being like a bare face gloss only kind of girl but oh i'm forgetting we're also gonna use the merit mascara and that'll be the last thing that we put on our face so long story short there's more preparation when it comes to manifesting than there is like the actual work of manifesting i think it's all about for me what i've learned and how i've been able to manifest the things that i want is just by making sure my vibrations stay in a high frequency and to think positively don't be such a realist and it's and honestly it's not about lying to yourself it has nothing to do with telling yourself things that are false because literally these things are true you have to believe that they are true you can literally change your mind like i know what you see but what i see is 500,000 subscribers on my youtube channel i have a 500,000 subscribers on my youtube channel and it's an amazing revelation and that is called the law of assumption um assuming regardless of what you is regardless of what you physically see in this time space reality change that reality it's it sounds like a joke i promise you but if you if you switch your mindset and expand your mindset you are going to uh, surprise yourself with the amount of things that you manifest in your life and how quickly they come to your fingertips all right this is pretty much my everyday face and now we're going to do something to this hair girl this hair is so old and it is definitely oh y'all see them flakes dropping off my lord jesus manifesting can be as easy as waking up every day and saying like daily affirmations or allowing yourself to or sometimes another way i think that is super cool to like manifest or speak highly on your life is like when you set alarms set an alarm and um and have your alarm you know how you can set your alarm to say things like it can it can it can you know how you can set your alarm to like say something what the alarm is like pack your bag or time for the gym you can set your alarms to where the first thing you see when you open your eyes and you open your alarm are affirmations so you could say my desires are on my are my desires are on their way to me now or i am a I am abundance in human form or it is so it can be so easy to just start manifesting what you'll realize is that the more that you do these things the faster that you'll be in that space of receiving the things that you want and just like everything else that I've ever talked about here on my channel it's all about mindset you're not gonna get anywhere if you don't put yourself in the mindset and in the receiving mode somebody that's really cool to listen to when it comes to manifesting the things that you want is abraham hicks abraham hicks speaks a lot about um being in your vortex and what that means is like basically being in this realm of how to of of manifesting the things that you want and creating the life that you want so no i'm not just saying sit in your house and hope and pray that these things happen to you like faith without work is dead <laughs> and god definitely i very much believe in god and um and i definitely don't just rely on the universe for the things that i need but i absolutely 100 believe per percent believe that the universe and the god are working together for my benefit and they're working for your benefit as well you can definitely believe in and have a full relationship with god while also understanding that we are energy beings like we god created us as energy and the universe is energy and 98 percent of the time the universe and the energies are aligning and working together and with prayer and work and meditation and keeping your mind and your heart and your spirit in a space that allows you to be in the receiving mode at the end nothing at that point nothing is going to be able to stop you and you have to understand that the things that you are not getting that you're mani manifesting, you can look at it two different ways. A, that thing is not for you or it's not for you yet. Um, and you do that with what you, you do that, you do with that what you will because you can either continue manifesting the things that you want until they come to you or you can just 
give up. For me, I'm a big believer that like God isn't going to give me anything that I'm not ready for yet. I don't want anything that I'm not ready for yet. Or if they don't ever happen ever in life, you know what? Okay, maybe this thing wasn't for me. God, shift my mind to wanting, shift my mind to different desires. But I'm a firm believer that like if you want something you can't desire your life without having it that thing is going to be yours it's just a matter of when you can manifest anything that you want as long as you believe that it's already yours understand that if you can think it is yours and as long as you keep yourself in that men mental space you're going to be able to attract even the smallest of things even the biggest of things but the one thing y'all know that real is like think big bitch no for real think big the universe and the world are so much bigger than what your brain can muster up the things that you the ways that you can imagine receiving something i bet you there's a thousand more ways to receive that same something that your mind just can't think about so open your subconscious allow yourself to receive these things and understand that no matter what they're going to reach you 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 said it you deem it you're the one who allows it yes god does but the thought is you know somebody put your somebody put that thought in your head you ain't just pull it out your ass you sure did not if you keep yourself in the receiving mode and keep your vibrations high and understand that whatever it is that you want is already yours speak it on your life speak it on your life in a way that you that you're speaking as if it's already happened you know how they say fake it till you make it that's I don't think you're faking anything I think that you are speaking something onto your life and you're acting as if you already have that thing and next thing you know it's gonna be your reality long story short the things that you want in this life are waiting for you to claim them and they're yours believe that they're yours and you'll be able to manifest anything that you want in this life you're gonna be in these comments like girl thank you girl I just read that book and my whole my whole everything my life has just shifted for the better like I can't wait to hear your successes um please comment them in the in the comments below once you once you put yourself in that time space reality you'll realize that the world is your oyster literally these aren't just sayings these are truths and i'm just rooting for you long story short i'm rooting for you and i'm rooting for myself too because every day this is the work in my opinion this is the work all this other um all this other worldly stuff is simply that like this is what keeps us distracted every day this is a simulation <laughs> like we have the power to shift our reality and make life what we want to make it and i just hope that anything i've shared in this video um has helped you get a little bit closer to that um i'm ready i was gonna put my ponytails in a bun but i don't know i'm kind of liking them out what do you guys think <laughs> thanks for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn your bell notifications on because we are dropping videos every single week sometimes multiple times in a week i hope you guys are enjoying it um thanks for watching i'll catch you in my next one bye